Hi there. My name is Emma, and today's lesson is on three commonly confused words. The words are migration, immigration, and emigration. Okay? So this lesson has been suggested to us by Nader from Iraq and Nora. So these two individuals, these two viewers, they wrote to us asking for this lesson in our comments section of Ingvid, and we're glad to do this video. Okay, so let's get started on what these words mean. So first of all, migrate. So in this case, migration is the noun form. Migrate is the verb. So what does migrate mean? It has to do with movement. All of these words actually have to do with movement. Migrate has to do with seasonal movement, or movement that is not permanent. So what do I mean by this? Well, let me give you some examples. Um, a lot of animals migrate. So for example, every year, birds, uh, for the winter, they fly south to warmer areas. This is called the bird migration, or migration. So Canadian geese do this, butterflies do this, buffalo do this, many animals, they move from one area to another area, uh, usually due to temperature, and then at the end of the season, they move back. So migration is not permanent. Okay, People can also migrate, um, but again, it's not permanent. Uh, in Canada, we have what are known as migrant workers. So these people are people who come to Canada to work, sometimes just for a season, uh, sometimes for a year, but they go back home eventually. So it's not a permanent uh, position. They come to Canada and then they leave. So migrate, migration, and a person who migrates is a migrant, or migrant worker, sorry, that's the adjective form. Okay, the next word is immigrate. So immigrate is very similar to migrate in that we're talking about movement of people. Um, well, migrate also has to do with animals, but we're talking about movement. Um, the difference is immigration and immigrate, it's people only. Okay, so no animals. Animals do not immigrate. People immigrate. Um, it's also permanent. So if you immigrate to a country, that's where you're going to be living. You're stuck there. You, well, if, if you don't like the country, you're stuck there. Otherwise, um, it's a great experience. You move to a new country and you stay put. Um, and again, it means to move to a country. So here's my little picture. This thing that looks like a puddle is actually a country. Um, we have an arrow here. So it's showing you're moving into a country. Okay. Um, other forms of this word, so immigrate is the verb, immigration is the noun, and if you immigrate, you are an immigrant. So as an example, my grandfather came to Canada from England in the 1920s. He immigrated here. He was an immigrant. Okay. So now let's look at the last final word, emigrate. So emigrate is very simil similar sorry, to immigrate. It's about people, first of all, not animals. So people emigrate. It's also permanent, just like immigration, but the difference is in the meaning. It still has to do with movement, but it's about leaving a country. So for example, my grandfather, I told you he immigrated to England or to Canada. He emigrated from England. So it's the country you leave from. You're emigrating when you leave a country. So here's a picture of another country, it's just a circle, and it shows an arrow leaving. Okay, so let's do some practice with these words. Okay, so let's do some practice questions together. All right, so number one, monarch butterflies to Mexico yearly or every year. Do you think it's monarch butterflies migrate, immigrate, or emigrate. I hope you said migrate. So monarch butterflies migrate to Mexico yearly. Number two, I want to to Australia. And in this case, I've highlighted 
the answer should mean move to Australia. So do you think it's, I want to migrate, immigrate, or emigrate? If you said immigrate, you're correct. I want to immigrate to Australia. Number three, my father moved to the United States from Korea. He is an, do you think it's migrant, immigrant, or emigrant? He said immigrant. You are correct. He from Korea. So he's an immigrant from Korea. He left Korea. Do you think he immigrated from Korea? He emigrated or he migrated? He said emigrated. You are correct. So for more practice on the differences between migrate, immigrate, and emigrate, I invite you to come visit our site at www.ingvid.com. Until next time, take care.